Hello everything is fine? Daniel here talking about SAP guided scripting. I hope you are well. Seguinte. We are going to continue our studies and now we are going to see a way for us to be able to capture how SAP records the scripts of our actions. And so we can later modify these scripts to adapt to our needs, okay? Don't forget to also subscribe and like our content, okay? Come on, let's open SAP. Bring here the screen. Okay, it's here. Let me log in. You are logged in, right? What do I do? I'm going to use SAP's own script recorder. Tá. Ele vai... It will have a similar way to Excel macro recorder. It will generate a file and in that file will be all the commands that were executed. It's true? Let's go. First let's turn on the recorder. You click here on options. This icon will change according to the layout you are using. Oh sorry, it's not here, it's just that there is script reproduction. Here we go. Okay, register, record in. Here is the file path, right? You can change it according to your needs. Mine is marked desktop. Mine will record on the desktop. To record. From now on, about recording the file, it's because that folder already has my test file there, so you. He's asking if I want to go about writing or not. I will say yes. But if you wanted to change another name, you would put no and change its name. Yes, from now on it is already recording. What are you recording? Nothing at the moment, but as soon as I click on it, as soon as I enter transactions, it will enter like this, it will record. Let's go, so let's start here, I'm going to enter the order, put the order number here, display it, I'm going to navigate here in the tabs, I navigate it and I'm going to exit the order. And I'm going back to the home screen. Okay, I'm off to my recording. Stop. I stopped, right? At this moment, this file here has been created on the desktop. Let's minimize it here. He's here on the other side. Just let me bring him over here. It was created here the file, right? So if I run this file, what will happen? It's going to do exactly the same tasks that I've been doing before. Let me bring the frog over here so you can see where it is here. It will bring up C that I'm going to execute the file here and it will perform the tasks that I did earlier. Play. Play. Entered the order, went to the tabs, see I'm not doing anything. He will come back. It ended. Okay. That way we managed to record the script. But what's in that file? Let's edit it. Right click, edit. It will open the notes blog and here is our file. This first part here, it takes care of the SAP connection with the SAP application object, right? It takes the open program here, takes the connection, takes this action. And down here, there's the actual execution part. Here he opened the transaction, entered the order number, pressed the buttons, pressed the tabs. This here is all something that we will see later on. But okay, this was a way for us to be able to record our actions in the SAP. There are other ways, yes, but this is the simplest one that we can give from there to make our modifications for our real use scenario, so to speak. Is it good people? Thank you. Don't forget to share, like and follow us to receive new content. Thank you. See you next time.